interesting story we're following tonight on the North Shore. At multiple times, the individual, the driver, the lone occupant of the vehicle, fired multiple times at law enforcement during the pursuit. A suspect is dead after a shootout with police. The dramatic scene unfolded this morning in Slidell. This incident marks the sixth officer involved shooting in the metro area this year. The sixth. It's also the reason why one security expert says law enforcement officers are now changing the way they do their jobs. WDSU anchor Latanya Norton is on your side to explain. Uh, officer involved shooting. It's a scene that's become increasingly familiar in the metro area and across the country. An officer involved shooting, this time in Slidell. Early Saturday morning, St. Tammany Parish Sheriff Jack Strain says when an officer attempted to pull over a white truck for a traffic violation, the driver refused, resulting in a high speed chase on Pontchartrain Drive, one that crossed parish lines. Ending with the exchange of gunfire at the I 10 Gauls exit. He immediately exited and realized he didn't put it in park. For whatever reason, went back, put the vehicle in park, and turned armed and challenged law enforcement. Sheriff Strain says the suspect, armed with a semi automatic pistol, opened fire on three law enforcement agencies the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Department, Louisiana State Police, and the Slidell Police Department. And at that point, realizing he was armed and had been firing on law enforcement multiple times throughout the entire chase uh, from St. Tammany and Orleans back into St. Tammany, uh, they did as they're trained to do and they neutralized the threat. There's an entity out there that has no respect for the uniform whatsoever, and they're willing to kill that police officer to achieve their goal. Security expert and former NOPD SWAT Commander Mike Kahn says the increase of brazen suspects and officer involved shootings puts the law enforcement community on high alert and changes the way officers protect and serve, many turning to street survival tactics to protect themselves. Now, every police officer across the country has to look over his back. Every single police officer has to pay attention to what's going on. And when they're working the street, where in the past you would sometimes have police officers spread out on a walking beat, now they're clustered together because they're the only ones that can watch each other's back and protect each other. Sheriff Strain says the search continues for the passenger who jumped out of the vehicle during the pursuit. The deceased suspect lived in Slidell. I'm proud to say that law enforcement went home safe. Law enforcement went home unhurt. On your side. LATANYA NORTON, WDSU NEWS.